Hey everyone! Have you ever imagined what happens when we discover that Jupiter is about to gain its 68th moon, whether it wants to or not? Because that's exactly what's happening with 3 Eye Atlas, and today we're going to find out why this object is executing a military precision approach that should be impossible in nature. Imagine a comet that aims at Jupiter's gravitational influence radius with spacecraft precision, executes course corrections during observational blind spots, completely ignores Earth as if we didn't exist. Heads for the perfect gravitational zone for long-term surveillance. Sounds like science fiction? Well, it's exactly what we're observing right now! And the implications are absolutely disturbing. What we have here isn't just another space rock passing through the neighborhood. This could be the deployment phase of something planned for longer than human civilization has existed. Let's start with what should be physically impossible. 3 Eye Atlas isn't wandering aimlessly through the solar system. New orbital calculations reveal something that's leaving scientists deeply uncomfortable. This object is executing a precision approach to Jupiter's hill radius, the planet's personal gravitational bubble, where its influence dominates over the suns. It's the perfect parking zone for satellites, where natural moons form and human probes aim when they want to orbit Jupiter efficiently. Jupiter's hill radius extends approximately 53 million kilometers from the planet's center. It's cosmic territory the size of Mercury's entire orbit around the Sun. Now comes the strange part. The calculated intercept point for 3I Atlas is 53.445 million kilometers, with an error margin of only 0.06 million kilometers. This isn't close. This is surgical precision. It's like shooting an arrow from New York and hitting the bullseye in Los Angeles. While the target is moving, you're also moving. And you shot the arrow seven years ago? Natural comets don't do this. They can't. There's a massive difference between passing near something by coincidence and hitting a specific gravitational boundary with an error margin measured in thousands of kilometers. What makes this even stranger? 3 Eye Atlas approached perihelion, closest point to the sun, in early 2025. Comets normally behave erratically after perihelion because solar heat causes violent sublimation of ice, creating gas jets that push the comet unpredictably. But the opposite happened. The approach vector tightened. The path toward Jupiter's hill radius became more refined, more exact, as if someone had made a course correction after the solar encounter. This isn't how sublimating ice behaves. It's how thrusters behave. And here comes the detail that really bothers us. 3 Eye Atlas passed relatively close to Earth on its way to Jupiter, close enough that if it were an alien probe interested in humanity, we'd expect some kind of response. But nothing happened. No orientation change. No velocity variation. No thermal signature indicating observation equipment activating. The object completely ignored us. It flew past Earth as if we weren't even there, like a car on the highway passing an exit without slowing down. This indifference is more disturbing than hostility would be because it suggests we're not the destination. We're just scenery on the way to somewhere more important. During the period when 3 Eye Atlas was hidden behind the sun from Earth's perspective, something happened. The object accelerated slightly, not much, just enough to be measurable, but enough to adjust the trajectory precisely in the way needed to refine the approach to Jupiter's hill radius. This acceleration occurred during solar conjunction, a time window when solar brightness prevents telescopes from tracking objects accurately. Convenient timing, if you think about it. Almost as if someone knew when they wouldn't be closely observed. The change was subtle, but unmistakable. 3 Eye Atlas experienced what scientists call a non-gravitational acceleration event. In plain English, something pushed the object in a way that gravity alone can't explain. Faced with so many anomalies, the scientific community has split into three camps. Theory 1. Extreme Comet Maybe 3 Eye Atlas is simply a comet with unique composition, rich in special ices like carbon monoxide that sublimate differently, a super-dense nucleus that resists, torques, internal fractures that channel gas in an organized way. Theory 2. Observational Effects Some anomalies might be perspective tricks. The angle between Earth, comet, and Sun could make structures appear more organized than they really are. Theory 3 something different. This is the most controversial theory. The behavior is so organized and stable that it might indicate processes we don't fully understand. Not necessarily artificial, but perhaps physics we haven't discovered yet. 
There's a concept in astrobiology that isn't discussed much publicly. Advanced civilizations don't send themselves to other stellar systems. They send machines. Small, durable, autonomous probes that can survive the journey, reach the destination, and then do something we rarely consider. They multiply, disperse, build networks. Jupiter is exactly where you'd establish a base. The magnetosphere is the largest and most powerful in the solar system, a cosmic power plant. For any civilization that knows how to harness electromagnetic energy, Jupiter is free energy on a scale that makes Dyson sphere concepts seem modest. The hill radius isn't just a gravitational boundary. It's a parking zone where objects can remain in relatively stable orbits for centuries without constant course corrections. 3i Atlas doesn't exist in isolation. It's the third confirmed interstellar object we've detected. And when we align all three, and examine their properties side by side, a pattern begins to emerge. Oumuamua in 2017, elongated shape, mysterious acceleration, no visible outgassing signs. Avi Loeb proposed it could be an artificial solar sail. Two, I Borisov in 2019, looked normal, had proper coma, but chemical composition slightly different from solar system comets. Now, 3i Atlas which manages to be more disturbing than Oumuamua, despite looking more like a conventional comet. It has coma, shows, activity signs, but the trajectory is too precise. While astronomers debate 3i Atlas's nature, a parallel revolution is happening in how we observe the sky. Artificial intelligence has arrived in astronomy and is changing everything about how we detect and interpret objects. Machines are learning to see patterns we can't finding signals and noise we dismiss. AI systems trained on millions of stellar observations don't just categorize stars. They find strange outliers, objects that don't fit any existing category, microlensing events, transient objects that appear for one frame then disappear, fast movers with velocities inconsistent with natural solar system objects. AI is finding anomalies everywhere. The timing of all this matters. 3i Atlas arrives during the same period when our observational capabilities undergo exponential improvement. We're suddenly able to see things we couldn't see before. Maybe it's coincidence. But there's another interpretation. Maybe we're not discovering new phenomena. Maybe we're finally noticing things that were always there, objects and events that have been happening around us for years or centuries, invisible until we built machines smart enough to detect them. Two curves intersecting, them arriving or becoming visible, and us learning to see. Meeting at a point in time that seems less like coincidence and more like synchronization. 3i Atlas might not be an isolated visitor, but the first one we noticed in a crowd we're just beginning to see. Our solar system may never have been as empty as we believed. We might be surrounded by architecture we mistake for nature, probes we catalog as comets, signals we dismiss as noise. And what do you think? Are we witnessing the arrival of something intentional, or is our paranoia creating patterns where none exist? Leave your theories in the comments. If you want to follow every development in this story that might be rewriting our understanding of the cosmos, like, share, and subscribe. The universe might be more populated than we imagined, and we're finally learning to see